Hello teachers, this is Ricardo, and today we continue our series on Teams assignments inside of Canvas. Last video, I showed you how you have the ability to now create Teams assignments directly from Canvas. Very simple. So if you didn't see that video, make sure you actually take a second to watch it. But again, very easy. Once you have your Canvas course created for this year, you go to settings, you go to integration, make sure you turn Microsoft Sync on and Sync so that your class is created. Now that you have that and you are now in Teams, you're gonna see that class in here. You're gonna be able to see it with a log. It's gonna be named the same. When you click on it, don't forget to activate it so your students can come in here and now you're able to use it. But now that we have that, whether you create assignments from assignments or from modules, so now that you've done that, you have the ability to create Teams assignments from assignments or from modules, up to you. So if I went to modules, just go to the snowman and notice that you can create team assignments. If you function out of assignments, make sure you go there and you'll be able to create team assignments. So I'm gonna click on team assignment. Notice what it's going to do, it's gonna think. So again, the ability to use flip camera. So I can search for assignments that I might've been Create it, or I can straight create a brand new assignment. So create, it's going to automatically take you into that Teams that you created. All of your students are going to be there now. We are here now, and notice it says assignments. Create an assignment with options for learning accelerators. We can create quizzes or from existing. We won't go over that right now. We're just going to create a new assignment. It's being created. And again, the power of learning accelerators. And also, if you wanted to keep using the flip camera, it's here. So I'm going to say enter a title. I'm just going to call it flip assignment. I can give my instructions. I can have a due date. I can add rubrics. I will create videos on rubrics with AI. We're not going to worry about it. You can add a reflect check-in to see how our students are feeling after the assignment. You also have the ability to come in here. And if you yourself wanted to use the flip video recording camera, you have the ability to do that. It's going to look the same way for the students. And you are going to recognize this. It's going to be our amazing and beloved flip camera that is going to op open. So notice that it opened the flip camera and I have all of the tools that you are used to with flip. I will make sure and make another video to show you those tools if you don't know how to use them. But you can create from a teacher point of view a video to basically tell the students how to, how to use the flip camera. Don't forget to add points because now these points are going to be reflected in speed graded in Canvas and you can push the assignment. I'm going to turn on the reflect. I'm going to assign this. We can save it. It's creating the assignment for us. Notice that it says we are still processing this assignment. Go back to your LMS to link this assignment. The assignment is going to be right here for you. You're going to see all of your students that have been assigned to it. You also have the ability to see the student view. And when your students are ready to submit this assignment, remember that now they're going to have the ability to use the flip camera if that's what you want them to do. I'm going to go back to my LMS. So notice that that assignment we created is right here. I can click and I can say link. It's syncing the assignment details. So we're actually creating your assignment in your Canvas gradebook. You're going to be able to grade it in Teams and you're going to see the grades over here. And here is my assignment. Pretty incredible, right? We're just scratching the surface. This is going to get amazing when we bring the power of reading progress, a speaker coach, map coach into our LMS. If you have any questions, we're here to help you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.